and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to start something new, meaning a YouTube channel, a business, how to persuade in your art, your music, and just how to go after your dreams in general, coming from someone who has two businesses as well as this YouTube channel. I just want to start off by saying the hardest part in starting something new is seriously just taking the first leap and starting it. I know that may seem so simple or cheesy and just like why is that even something you need to mention but once you start that thing, once you make the YouTube channel, once you start the Instagram for the business, whenever you make that first move, if you put in your hard work and your determination from there, it will grow. Now, the second thing that I'm going to be talking about kind of wraps back to the first, but it's that you need to put yourself out there. Step out of your comfort zone. Tell everyone what it is that you're doing. You want the whole town to know that you started your YouTube channel or that you started your business. For example, when I started this YouTube channel, I told everyone, I told all my friends, they started to tell their friends, their friends started to tell their friends, I posted on all of my social medias, everyone knew about it, and therefore I was able to have a fan base and now my little family here on YouTube. I know we're in the middle of the video, but I just wanna say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to everyone and anyone who has supported me through subscribing, buying a bikini from me, buying a set of nails. It's seriously, you guys, are the reason why I'm able to do this. If you don't try now, you're going to regret it later. This might be the most important piece of information that I give you in this whole video because I need all of you. If you want to start something, start it, please. You don't want to be sitting here five years from now saying, why didn't I start that channel? Why didn't I start that business? No, you want to already have the growth. You want to already be living your dream. You already want to be successful. So just start it now and then you won't have those regrets later on. We also have to remember that every thought we put into the universe comes back to us. We create our own realities. We are constantly manifesting whether the thoughts we're putting out are positive or negative. So you always want to make sure that every thought that you're putting out towards something new that you're starting is positive. You do not want to have negative thoughts there. Only positive thoughts. You should be telling yourself, I have a million subscribers, all my videos go viral, everyone loves what I do. Or if you're gonna start a business, for mine personally, I can say, everyone loves buying my bikinis, everyone feels so confident in my bikinis, things like that that are just putting positive energy towards it. If you guys would like more tricks and tips on manifestation and how to do that, I'm thinking about doing more videos like that in the future. And I also have my vision board video that you guys can watch that is also super helpful when you guys are starting something new. You can definitely make a vision board with everything that you want for your business or everything that you want to achieve. You're going to fail in order to succeed. When you're doing something new, trial and error is a huge thing. You're figuring out what works out for you and what doesn't work out for you. Maybe it's not always gonna go as planned and sometimes maybe it'll go perfectly. And either way, that's perfect because you're learning from it. You're learning from what didn't work out and you're also learning from what does work out so you can continuously do what does work out. I also wanna mention with my businesses, every single time I had a step back, I looked at that and I said, you know what, I had a step back, that is okay. I'm gonna use this as a learning lesson and grow from it and continue to go after my dreams and my goals Take risks in order to go after your dreams. Do not always follow the easy route because that's not gonna help you grow and feel challenged as a person. You need to step out of your comfort zone. Do what's challenging. Do what's gonna make you more happy in life and help you go after your dreams and make them come true. It is seriously never too late. It does not matter whether you're nine years old or whether you're 98 years old, you can start going after your goals and you can start following your dreams and starting something new. Age seriously has nothing to do with this. What matters is that they wanna live their perfect dream life and they're following what they need to do in order to accomplish that. Fear is always gonna be there. You're always gonna have doubts, insecurities, limiting beliefs, and it's normal, everyone has them, but we need to put those thoughts, put those negative things to the side so we can push through and go after what we wanna go after. You have to realize that you're following your dreams for you. You cannot be sitting here thinking about all of your insecurities, what someone's gonna say about you. No, cut all of that out and just realize that you're following your dreams for you and for no one else. I had to remind myself that there was nothing to worry about, 
that no matter what I'm gonna do, someone is always gonna have something to say. Not everyone is gonna be pleased with what you're doing and that is okay. Some people are jealous, some people are negative and you just need to put those people aside, put those negative thoughts that they're putting into your head aside and remember that you're succeeding at this dream for you, you're going after your goals and you're the one that is accomplishing things here. You decide how much power fear has over you. You can look at fear and let it freeze you and let it take over you, or you can look down on fear and say, I'm gonna conquer this because I have no reason to be afraid. I'm going after my dreams. You do not wanna be a victim of your fear. You do not wanna let fear take over you. You wanna look at fear and conquer fear. I personally look at fear and tell it, I am bigger and better than you and I will succeed. I will accomplish all of my dreams and you are not gonna take control of me. When I was starting my businesses and my YouTube channel, I always reminded myself that fear equals face everything and rise. You do not want to let your fear take over you like I mentioned before. Do not overthink it. Do not let that happen. Just face everything and rise. Another tip that I'm gonna give you is to let go of whatever is fueling your limiting beliefs. Whether that is a person, your family, friends, a house, a job, it does not matter what it is. If it is causing negativity to your life, you need to let go of that. I know it can be extremely hard if you're letting go of a person, a lot of pain, or if you wanna let go of your nine to five and start your own business, it can be hard but it's something that you need to do in order to live a positive, happy life and succeed in your goals and in your dreams. Stop overthinking it. Overthinking it is what's gonna cause you the most problem while starting something. As I mentioned in the beginning, the hardest part is just starting. Once you start, you can grow from there. Through trial and error, you're gonna have a successful and amazing business or an amazing YouTube channel or you're gonna be amazing at your art, whatever it is, I promise you that you will succeed. But seriously, stop overthinking it, it's not that serious. I also wanna to touch on and add a quote from Tony Robbins that says, success without fulfillment is ultimate failure. This means essentially that if you're doing something and you're not happy with it, even if you're successful, it doesn't mean anything. You need to choose something that you're happy with, that you love doing. For example, if you make a YouTube video because you just want views and not because you love doing it, or if you start a business just for the money and not because you love fulfilling your clients' needs and adding value to their lives, then you're all in the wrong. You need to choose something that is gonna bring joy and happiness into your life and choose something that you love doing because that is where the real success is. Success is happiness. When you're done watching this video, my biggest piece of advice for you is to make a list of action steps that you're gonna take in order to create your dream reality or in order to start something new. On that list, you're gonna put everything you need to do, whether that be starting a business or a YouTube channel, just all the steps that you need to do in order to accomplish that and then go follow every single one of them and make sure to accomplish it. Create your dream reality, manifest, have the courage to let go of whatever it is that you don't want in your life. Just follow your dreams and I promise you that every single one of you is capable of having whatever they desire. In conclusion to this video, I just wanna say thank you all so, so much for supporting me. It means the world, whether that be my Koba babes, my family here on YouTube, my Bliss babes, I love you all. And I seriously could not be here without you guys. So again, thank you so much. I hope you all love the video. Bye guys.